and welcome to my channel, Distinctive Crochet. My name is Priscilla, and I would like to thank all my new subscribers for coming to check me out, and all my returning subscribers for spending some time with me. All right, everyone, it is Monday, so it is time to work your whips Monday. And today, um, we are going to be continuing to work on the cardigan called Poncho. So this is a design that I am working um, right along with you guys. It was just an idea in my head that I'm now um, putting together. So this is uh, the progress that I have so far, and it's actually going to um, go over my shoulder like that. So I did want it to be a little bit, um, maybe just a little bit longer. So I was deciding last week that I was going to do another three rows and then uh, start like some shaping along in this area. And so that is what I'm going to be doing. I didn't get a chance to uh, work ahead and figure out all of that. So I will be doing that with you guys. <laughs> so hopefully you won't mind. But um, I'm going to start with the three rows um, of just what we've been doing, which is our stitch pattern. So I'm just going to continue on with that. And then I'll probably go ahead and uh, work out my idea for that. And then I'll come back and let you know what I decided to do so that you can go ahead and follow along as well all right so that is where i'm at um, on this project so far so go ahead and grab your cardigan gone poncho or your whip whatever you're working on and get some progress done with me all right everyone here we go
all right everyone and I made it back so this is um, let's see this is what I have so far let me just show you what it looks like and then I can show you what I did so okay okay so this is what it's looking like so I wanted that little bit of um, shaping where it curves around the neck and then it comes out a little bit like a cardigan would so that is what I was going for I didn't want it to come out too much because I didn't want to flop over and uh, I did want to have those little tabs across the front to close it so I just did um, a little bit of shaping there and then what I'm doing now is I'm continuing to uh, work across the back and it's like right about here so I might only have like a couple more rows because once it gets you know over here then I want to start doing that same shaping that I did on this side on this side and then it'll have you know it'll be nice and matched up and then it should have just a little bit of a gap where I can make those tabs across the front um, when I'm done with this part right here that'll be something that I go back and do to finish it off but that is where I'm at so far so if you can see uh, this stitch marker right here, I added that into where the middle of my two uh, original stitch markers were. Um, so these are the markings that mark off the shoulder section. And then I've got another uh, stitch marker and put it like in the middle of uh, the stitch of that section. And if you don't have it where it's lined up where there's like a middle V stitch, just try to get it um, in the middle of those two stitch markers. And then that is where you want to start your shaping. So what I did was I was coming up. Okay, so also this stitch marker represents where the back, um, the back side of it. And this purple one represents the front side of it for me. So what I was doing is I was coming um, from this direction all the way up from the back, okay? And then I worked in pattern until I got to this uh, middle stitch marker. When I got here, as I was saying, that marked a V stitch. So instead of doing a double crochet V stitch, I did a half double crochet V stitch. So that way it uh, shortens the stitches. So that is, I'm trying to explain my thinking as well. So if you don't understand exactly what I did or if your stitches don't match up exactly with what mine do, does, at least you can maybe understand the process that I did where you can come up with your own uh, workaround for that if what I did doesn't make sense. All right, so... Um, I did a height difference so instead of doing a double crochet V stitch I did a half double crochet V stitch and that brought the height down then on the very next stitch which would have been a chain one in the space excuse me, in the space of the chain one I did a single crochet and that brings it down a little more and then um, from then on I just slip stitch in each stitch even if it was a, a chain one space I just slip stitch in each one of those and when you do the slip stitch make sure you do it uh, loosely and that way you can work back into it you can even work under one loop um, if you want and that should make it easier for you when you go back to uh, work slip stitches in those stitches all right so after I did the single crochet right after that half double V stitch I did um, slip stitches all the way until I got to uh, this marker right here this is just a string and that one was uh, what did I say? Um, I believe that was four okay so I had this V stitch marked and then I had so here's the next V stitch so that's one here's the next one two let me see, was that two? Let's see, here's this one. So one, two, three. So it was the third one after that. So let's see. 
Yep, this is the marked one. One, two, three. So it was the third one from this uh, middle mark stitch, okay? Um, yes, let me see if I can measure that. Let's see about um, So that is about okay. So mine is measuring about uh seven inches down from that stitch. So you can count down three V stitches after that. Or um, seven inches from wherever you from wherever that stitch marker is, and that should give you. Uh, let's see where am I? At? Okay, that's the marker. So it's gonna sit kind of like that. Where this mark, that middle marker, is like right about there, and then you kind of have this like tab here, and this might be like where you would have the first button of your cardigan if you were if it was like a real cardigan you know something like that so that is where I wanted to uh, <clears throat> end the slip stitches off right there so that's where it starts to go around my neck and then that's where it ends at so if that um, gives you a visual of how it should look so that you can put your stitch markers in accordingly and work those slip stitches in between those stitch markers and then that way that'll give you that little bit of shaping there and then here is where um, that starts to come out in the front. Okay, so once I did that, I um, once I finished off here, I went back to a half double V stitch in the next V in that V stitch that's marked. I did a half of double V stitch there to um, get it lengthened again. Then I did a chain one. And then I just kept going in pattern. So then I worked double crochet, the two double crochet, and um, so on in pattern. Okay, so from there on, I worked, continued on in pattern. Then I went back up, and I followed the same thing that I had just done. So I did the half double V in that um, in that marked stitch there. And then I went back to my slip stitches, and then... I did that single crochet and then I did the half double V and then I went back to uh, work and pattern down the back. Alright, so I did that for a total of four rows. So I went down, then I went up, then I went down, then I went up. So that was a total of four rows and now I'm just working on the back. So once I finish those four rows, um, as you can see it's coming out and that'll come out across the back of my neck and I'm just working that back so as soon as I get to this stitch marker here which was the one that marked the back side of the work um, for me that ends on a chain one so I went to the next stitch which would be the two double crochets and I just did one of those double crochets and then I chain two and turn that way I have a nice edging across the back. So you want to um, try to find a spot where you have a nice edging across the back. So either um, the V, actually I would try to catch one of those um, double crochet stitches because uh, that would that would give it a nice edge. If you did a V stitch it might um, it might not be as straight. So I would um, try to work up to where you have the two double crochets but just do one of those and then that's where you would stop and turn and then work your way back down and then go up and down until you get across the back of your neck okay and then once you get across the back of your neck then you want to start that um, that shaping again and of course your stitch markers are on this side of it so you probably have to try to match up uh, the stitches that you did that in for the, the side that's coming down here actually um, I think when I come back around the front, the first uh, few stitches are um, just so how these were slip stitch. I think I'll probably do a chain and then I'll do some foundation double crochet. So 
hold it there. So once you get your shaping and you're working back and forth across the neck, hold off until you get to this part here because um, I'm at my time. Actually, I'm a little bit over, but um, I, when I come back next week, I'll show you guys how to come back around this way. Because I think I'm going to have to work some chains and then do some uh, foundation um, double crochets. Or I might try to keep it in pattern and work the pattern. So I might have to do that with you guys to show you how to do that part. Um, because we're going to have to create that out of nowhere, right? <laughs> So it's going to be foundation, but I might try to work it in patterns. So stay tuned for that for next week. But that is where I'm stopping for today. And um, if you feel comfortable working back and forth um, till you get to the other side of your neck, go ahead and do that part. And then I will meet you back um, next week to talk about the shaping. I will have to probably um, finish mine across the back because I don't think I'm going to have time for, during the week for that. But, um, yes, so we'll talk about getting around the other side next time. <laughs> All right, everyone. So please let me know what you were working on and the progress that you got done. Also, um, let me know in the comments what you think of my progress so far. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks for watching.